Yo guys, welcome to my Final Fantasy 7 Remake Chapter 7 guide of getting all chests and whatnot on hard. So once we start, we just want to go down this hallway, I guess we're going to call it, and then once we get to the rubble, Barrett will mumble something. So Tifa has this great idea, why don't we slide down these pipes? So let's do that. So once we slide down the pipes, kind of scary, huh? So there'll be a chest right underneath. Be three high potions, and then we want to turn around and run down here, and you'll see some something that will be very familiar to you later on in the chapter. So we'll grab the Moogle medals and the crates and stuff, and we're going to continue to run down here. Where is everybody? So we're going to run in here and then grab these crates, and then we're going to go down a ladder. And then there's going to be an item right here. And then we're going to continue on. There's going to be some crates at the end of the hallway here. If you want to break them, if not, you can skip them. And once we go down this ladder, we're going to get in a fight. Or stairs, I should say. So we're going to grab a chest in that area. Get a bottle of ether. And then once we do that, we're going to turn around. And then there should be a ladder. And then there's going to be a mini boss here, I'll call it, with two of those machine things that walk around and shoot guns at you. Just hit them with lightning damage and then you should be good. There's going to be a turret thing too. I would take control of Barret and kill the turret as well. It's more annoying than anything. So we're going to continue along and be a chest here. Yeah. I have a bulletproof vest. I would recommend equipping that on somebody. And then we're going to go down the ladder. And there's going to be a couple cutscenes here. So once the bomb's placed, we're going to run back and head towards this ladder. Oh no, is Shinra spying on us? So once after the cutscene, we want to run through uh, this tunnel here. I would recommend equipping fire materia with elemental on when, whoever you attack with the most. It'll help me with a few, like, normal fights for these guys. These fights are really easy. I just left them in just to show you. So once the fight's over, you want to go up to the screen. And then once you're done that, we're going to find a key card in here. Once we talk to the screen here. So we got the screen. Now we need to get a key card, which is laying on the table right here. You find it? Yeah. Good job. Now let's check out that console. So when you put the key card in this console, it will take out the AI core, which will make the boss slower. That's coming up. So after that, we want to go to the door here. 
and then open it and then we're gonna run up here there'll be a small cutscene there keep going there'll be a fight up here with a couple turrets and a couple little things be no chests here I would recommend taking the turrets out first that's what I did seemed to work good so we're gonna run up in here and there's gonna be a room full of soldiers again So this fight's pretty much the same as the other one. You want to quickly kill them before they call in reinforcements in this one. So there's a guy on the computer there. And then after this room's going to have two consoles. So there's going to be a total of three different kinds. So one will remove bombs, one will remove like the loadout, and one will remove the AI. I went with AI for all of them to make the boss super slow, but if you don't want to do AI for all of them, you can make it so he has less bombs, so he uses bomb attack less frequently, or whatever. But I chose the uh, AI one, just to make him a little more dumb. So here's the key card. So the one by Tifa has the uh, AI core that you can take out. What does an AI programming core do? And after that, you want to open the door. Be another small cutscene. And then we want to head up here. There's going to be a small fight in here, I believe. I already did it. Grab those and then head up the, the ramp to go to the next area. This will be another fight with some soldiers from Shinra. So here we go. This one to be just slightly harder than the last one, but it's not too bad. And once these guys are defeated, then we'll uh, disable some more parts. So we'll grab our key card. Which is just over here by Tifa. And then I chose to do the AI core again, so it'll be right by Tifa. Only one. And this time we've got three choices. Take your pick. So once you get that, you want to head to the door, open the door. Once we get up here, this should be a purple chest that will have a new weapon for Tifa. I already have it, so it's just going to be a normal chest for me. And then once we get that, we want to run upstairs. Open the door. And then there's going to be another fight with Shinra soldiers. Grenader will do lots of damage, so if you're worried about that, I would kill the Grenaders first. So there we go. So this one's going to have two key cards in it.
So I'm gonna do two AI cores again. An AI programming core. But if you want to do bombs or the other thing, then that's fine as well. Think we've done enough to weaken the robot? All that we can, at least. So good. The stage is set. All the so you can look on there and see what you debuffed on the left there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna head up this way. It's gonna be kind of a tough fight here, but it's not too bad. But once you're done the fight, you wanna continue on. And once we get here, we wanna go to the right, right up there. So we're going to run up the uh, thing through the door here, open the door, and then there'll be a fight, and then we're going to keep going. You can see some dialogue here with your thing for the different bosses with your debuffs and stuff, and you want to go near Barrett. And you're going to have like a Sawblade dude. He's kind of annoying, but once you get used to his attacks, he's not too bad. Just hit him with a lot of lightning damage and he should die pretty quickly. Attack the Sawblades first to help him with Stagger. So after that, we just want to continue on doing a bunch of uh, circles, running upstairs. All that fun jazz. And there's a chest here as well. Have a bottle of Ibiza. And then you're gonna have a fight there, and when once the fight's over, you just wanna keep going, go up the stairs. So there's going to be an elevator up here that we want to go through and it should trigger a cutscene. And once the cutscene's over, we want to head up to here at this control panel. Like a treasure ball. Woo, I'd like to so they talk about the treasure stuff and we're going to grab it all. So it's like a switch puzzle here. So you want to hit the switches at the exact same time Tifa does. If you look on the console right, three, right from her, it says it has two up arrows. So you want to hit up the up arrows when uh, she says go and then they're gonna switch up for the next one a little bit so to open this door we have to do a sequence of three once we hit this control panel so one, one on the right goes up and the one on the left goes down that was great you guys let's keep it up all right three two so both of these are up Some of these can be tricky. I failed a couple times. So one's up and one's down. Gamma level security. Disengage. Three, two, one. Delta level security. Disengage. There we go. So depending on what you took off of the robot thing with the consoles is will depend what items you get in here. But there's going to be a different materia here than what I'm getting because I already got it. I can't remember what it's called. But it should be a purple one, I believe. And then we bring this down, and then it's gonna poop out all of the items that we took off the boss. Score. It's just like so you can get all the AI cores, which sell for like 500 gil or something, I think. So each one of these is gonna have an item in it. And then one's gonna have, I think, two ethers. And then once we get out of there, then we head to the door that we just opened and go through it. And then you might wanna rest on the bench here as boss fight coming up and there's a CD to buy in the uh, vending machine. 
if you haven't got it yet. And open the door. And then go into here, and then we're gonna head out here for the boss fight. So for this boss fight, I took out all of the AI cores. So there's things you want to look out for for phase one of those little lightning balls. So if you stand in them, you will get stunned. Also, he's very weak against lightning. So if you have elemental materia on with lightning attack, like I do on Barret, then your attacks will do a lot more damage. I would almost do it on Tifa, though, to be honest with you, as you do most of the damage, or at least I did when he was in melee range. But I focused on keeping everybody's I focused on keeping everybody's bars full. Just so if I need to throw out a cure or whatever, then I can throw out a cure. This fight's pretty long. But I use the prey a lot as well. So I tried to keep Tifa in here. So this lightning thing that he does, if you stand near it, you'll take a lot of damage. So when you see him like start to electrify the ground like he is there, then you wanna just roll away. He'll also shoot rockets out of his behind. And he'll shoot machine gun stuff as well. And those little lightning things on the ground, as mentioned before, if you get hit by one, just switch characters. Do some extra damage. If you attack from behind, I believe it's extra damage. So you just want to keep going. And that's pretty much it for the first phase. When he gets down to 75%, then he'll go into phase two. So for phase two of the fight, he'll back up down this aisle way here, and he'll have some different attacks now. First one's gonna be this beam. When you see him open up like that, don't stand in the uh, aisle way. That'll hurt for a lot of damage. So once he does that, you go back. And then when you see his hands do that, he's gonna do a flamethrower attack. So you just back away from him with that. He'll still do the lightning things on the ground. And here's his beam again, so you just want to get out of there. It'll hit for quite a bit of damage, so you just keep your guys healed up. You should be good. So here's the uh, flamethrower thing again, to stay away. And then he'll do the lightning thing. And he'll still throw the things on the ground. So here's the beam one more time. And then that's it for phase two. One other thing to note during phase two as well, he will bring his fists out and they will do attacks such as that one. So that one will stun your guy for five or 10 seconds or so. He'll do one where he grabs you. So there's the zap attack. And then the one where he grabs you, he'll just pick you up and like smash you into the ground. It does like 1500 damage or so. So you just want to kill them off. Once you kill one, they both go away and it'll help when they get staggered as well. And then you can just kind of go all out with them. And that's it for phase two. All right, so when phase three starts, he'll start flying around. So this is where you might want to take control of Barret, but just play a little more defensively here because it gets a little rough because you can't fill up your bars with your other characters until he comes in melee range. So he'll do the beam attack, which is really hard to avoid. Just try not to stand near your guys. And then every once in a while he'll come in and this will be a good time to fill up your, your bars and everything. I use a lot of prayer with this as well, because it's you can throw a prayer out, heal your guy up. Uh, you can use your limit breaks as well with your melee characters. It'll be pretty good. And then he'll do the fire, he'll do all the attacks they did before, the fire attack, the lightning attack, and then I think when he gets below 25%, nope, he just did it there, so that lightning attack where it stuns you for a while, he'll do that as well. He'll usually be the first attack that he'll use when he comes in. 
So after a while, you just want to stay out with Barret. Just keep everybody healed up as much as you can. Because he will do the big beam attack eventually. I think he's doing it right now. So boom. So it hits pretty hard, but I had Barret's one thing up where he takes less damage, which helps a lot. I didn't realize how good that ability was. And in this attack, he'll shoot lightning things everywhere. Try to avoid them all the best you can. And those are pretty hard to avoid, so it's best just to get hit by him once in a while. So once he does his light beam thing there, you can't really do much, so I just switch to a different character. See if I could do something, but I can't. You can also use your summon. I never use it during this fight. But you'd want to use one that uh, has range. You might even check want to check out the Chocobo Moogle one that you just got as well, if you want to check it out. So here's the beam again. And then dodge the lightning thing, then all these, and then he should be coming in pretty soon. So there's his stun thing. So now he's coming in, so he used the stun thing, so it should be on cooldown. So here I use Prayer and then use Tifa's Limit Break as well. You want to try to get maybe a Stagger on him here. That's what I was going for. I was getting a little tunnel vision. I almost actually died here, I believe. So he does that slam attack. I think he only did that below like 20% or so. So there's where I was getting tunnel vision. And I ended up dying. But I had rays on a couple of my guys, so definitely helps for that. So there's the beam attack to stay away. And he'll do like a rotation at this point as well. Which I just learned there so just get everybody to go crazy on him right now when he's staggered I mainly did it for Barrett because I had him set up so he's gonna do that then I decided to use Tifa to get a, a prayer up just get everybody healed up conserve some MP a couple times when I died on this fight I ran out of MP so that's why I was playing really conservative And then just pick away at him until until he dies. That's pretty much the whole fight. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day.